What's going on guys? Welcome back to a team of the season Tagliafico review for you guys. This guy looks like one of the best left backs in the game. His high high, the two star weak foot. Wish it was more but it should be okay. Uh, three star skill moves. His high high is going to be amazing of this card. I love high high fullbacks like Robertson. They just seem to do everything on balance. They will track back, they will burst forward at the right right moments. Uh, we look at his attributes, uh, we, we put the basic chem style because I, I didn't think there was any other chem style that would have helped him massively. Um, the anchor was worth a shout, but I wanted to see this card with you know, the higher agility, ball control and dribbling. Because this guy attacking wise is going to be gonna be beautiful. Um, even the finishing looks kind of crazy with 99 attack positioning and 77 finishing. During those lone chances, he should be able to put the ball at the back of the net with his strong foot. Um, his passing looks immense as well with this basic chem style. Uh, uh, 89 vision, 99 shot passing, 87 long passing. I love using the long passing on the fullbacks into the center of the pitch. That is very, that's a very, very useful um, attribute to have in, in this year's game. Again, his dribbling stats look, look amazing, you know. Uh, 98 agility, 99 balance, 98 reactions. This guy, this guy will be crazy, man, in dribble and as well as intercepting those loose balls. Again, his ball control at 99 and uh, dribbling at 93. His composure at 98. That means he'll be able to pass under pressure and I guess uh, defend and tackle under pressure. The basic chem style does boost his defensive awareness to full. Stand tackling at 95, slight tackling at 96, uh, interceptions at 95. The physical also looks really good with an 87 strength and aggression at 93. And uh, let's see, uh, let's see how it goes. Uh, he, he has a solid player trait, so he wouldn't really get injuries and in team player. So I, I guess he fights with the batch. Uh, let's uh, let's go. Let's see how he does in game. I wasn't really using him that well, so I think I'll, I'll play him like a left mid position or left wing back position in the uh, 3 4 1 2 to test out you know how how well he really does. Ultra attack, Tagofico occupies this position, but his instructions are going to be very specific. Stay wide, um, get him behind, come back on the fence. Yeah, uh, Luis Figo will be a little bit different does his thing. Alright, let's see. Let's see how it goes.
final thoughts on Tagliafico, the man's a beast. Very powerful, very dynamic, down the wing. Um, a, a little bit more of a defensive fullback, tracks back a lot, uh, is always there, rarely out of position. Uh, can turn and dribble very well as well because of his frame and dribbling stats. Uh, his defense is almost perfect. Uh, the strength is not really a big problem at all, though. I think the really big strikers like Raul Jimenez and I, I think the bigger wingers like uh, Adama Traoré would definitely, uh, you know, impose some uh, physicality against him. But then again, practically speaking, you know, as one of the more dribbling uh, fullbacks, he he does have a lot more strength than some of the the, the other team of the season. So. Uh, Still a good shout, if you think that he needs more strength, you can always give him a sentinel, I guess. Which would be which would be very very good. Yeah, uh, final thoughts on the card. I'll give him like a 9.2 9 or something, man. Uh, very 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 decent, very very solid, not much problems in the ball. Didn't get the finish of him, but he should be able to to ping some loose balls in the back of the net uh yeah um if you enjoyed the review give it a like give it a thumbs up uh comment subscribe peace see you in the next one